In this video, we're going to be talking about the 1978 film from Rainer Werner Fassbinder called The Marriage of Maria Braun. Uh, we're Coffee with Aliens at the Movies, a film education and review channel. I'm Robert Bellissimo. I'm an actor and acting teacher. I'm Steve Chambers. I'm a writer and actor. And if this is your first time here, or if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button, which you can find in the description box below. Why? Why, why this film? Really always been really interested in Fassbinder, and I saw this movie about three and a half years ago, uh, and I thought this would be a perfect one to start with. And it really gives you an understanding, not just of people uh, there in Germany, or anywhere after the destruction of war, uh, why people become hard, why people become cynical, uh, why people be basically become emotionally repressed, uh, and why they just cut themselves off because you ba they basically lose their life in a way. And Fassbinder did this so well in this film, uh, particularly two scenes that stand out are when uh, she goes with, her, with a friend of hers to the school they went to, and it's bombed to shreds, but they're still singing the old songs they used to sing, and it's kind of like looking back. But that says so much that everything around them is bombed. Uh, and even where she begins to work later in a bar uh, as a cocktail waitress, and that was her fucking school gym, you know. And it's and it's there's no doors anymore. So there's just these moments that it gives you a real empathy into this character Maria, who's the main focus of this film. Um, you know, she's hard, she's cynical, uh, she's, she's unemotional, she's tough, she's very smart though, she's very seductive, she's a very beautiful woman. She's, she's a fascinating character to me, you know, complex character, but with a, again, like a true sense of empathy for why she wound up this way. And it's a real life, it's everything from the, the beginning uh, the end of World War II, 19, mm. right at the end of 1945 until the mid-50s, right? So a lot happens in yeah. those two years. Yeah. So it, it's really, that's the, that's the essence of it. I think it's a fantastic movie. So that's interesting. You think? I haven't seen it. Um, I didn't like it at all. But I, I think... <laughs> Here I go with this, like, passionate speech. Uh, I didn't like it at all. Anyway, but, go ahead. But, but I do feel that all the reasons you like it, and I'm not taking any, are the reasons I actually dislike it. For me, it was very plodding. It, it, it didn't have any peaks and valleys. I didn't feel any drama. Uh, now, let me, what I mean is, yes, on paper, there are dramatic things that could have been shown. Um, let's talk about the scene where, so quickly, Maria, um, post-World War II, she just got married. Husband's called back into um, service. Right. Her friend's um, husband comes home, informs Maria, her husband's dead. Now, yeah. I like, number one, I want to preface this with, uh, I really like the actress. Very, oh, very much. Um, right. But a lot I, of Fassbinder's films. I, yes. Uh, they initially wanted Romy Schneider for this, fun right. enough. Right, but, right. But uh, I, I, so I, I like how this actress, uh, Hannah Shigula, I, I'm probably not saying that right, handled the news of her husband being dead. It wasn't dramatic, it wasn't big. Now that occurrence was cool because it was unique. I haven't seen that, I like that. She was still, at least at first. She just still, water running on her hand. But anyway, then what happens is, as you said, she takes a job as a cocktail waitress at an American bar, she's yeah. a German woman. She takes up with this guy, Bill, this officer. I think she's pregnant by him at this point. Yeah. Uh, are about to have sex when Herman arrives. This scene I love. I, I thought it was the stupidest scene I've seen in film history. <laughs> no, no way. Oh no my way. God. Is they get the they movie get movie? into a fight that could have been in the movie The Room by Tommy Wiseau. It was so stagey. And when she goes to kill Bill, like like this, like a wet fish on the head, I didn't care. And then, so she gets well, that, pregnant. She goes to see what, what, a doctor. So about it because you know, I think in most uh, uh, traditional narratives, that would have been like, "Oh my God, I, I killed him," and everyone, everyone. And would have it freed. should have been. You <laughs> murdered a man. But you got to remember. You got to remember at this uh, at this point. Okay, for well, the husband 
God, he is seeing way worse than that. You know, mm-hmm. he has sure. he has seen he has seen things that you and I can't even imagine. Uh, particularly that fucking war, World mm-hmm. War Two, and also I think the reason it's so unemotional is because she has also experienced uh, such uh, such harsh harsh realities uh, herself. The violence is so normal. This is true. I I agree with you. So she goes on quite the adventure, we could call it. I mean, what? So there's two things that happen here that are interesting to me. Um, There's successfully, I'll say first, for my money, the gradual transformation of her from being, um, you know, a woman living at home where cigarettes are money, like a prisoner, to uh, by the fifties, this successful independent businesswoman. I how how gradually that was done was cool because there wasn't like the big, you know, like news flash. Now she's here. Now at the same time, that exact gradualness worked against the film for me because again, big monumental things happened to her in, in, in this, uh, in her adventure uh, that I, I thought could have used some drama. For the reasons that perhaps were missing for it for you is what I found so fascinating because you know, what's conventional about this film is, is, is the sense that, that she says exactly what she's going to do. She tells everyone why she's doing it. Uh, but then, you know, for example, she's, you know, as soon as she has an affair with the guy that she ends up working with, with and then taking... taking Oswald, his, yeah. Oswald. He was great. He was great. He was great. And as soon as she's uh, has sex with him, she goes, this isn't going to go any further, you know? Like, I'm in love with my husband. And yeah. then she tells him right away, hey, I, just so you know, I had sex with this guy, but I'm only doing it because I want to get the upper hand. And I know what she's yeah. saying. She's saying, you know what, if I work with him and, he, and we're, you know, he doesn't just want to sleep with her because he's attracted to her. He actually is very kind. He sees that she's oh, yeah. smart. He oh. sees that she's capable. He gives her these yes. opportunities. Yes, I think the scene where they meet is actually a very strong scene on the train. I love actually, that, yeah. I think that's the scene for me that that kept me in the film um and i, mean, I love I the way gonna, she reacted it, but... to the to the soldier and it says so much about who she yes. is you know she's trying to like the guy's here, and she's just like i'm gonna fucking kick you in the ball like i just yeah. thought Ooh. but she like, says she, it without uh, like ah and yeah, i think it works there great. she's doing so much to get her husband back to yeah she really wants to be together like she's very loving she's very smart like she's would you so say she's cool. very loving loving well, i don't know I feel like she's doing all this out of a sense of duty and because she doesn't know what else to do. Well, it's almost like I'm doing, like he represents the old Germany. And so maybe as a result of trying to get, get all this done, to have the home, to have money, to have, uh, uh, to, to, to not be poor anymore, to get away from this poor. Let's go back to the way things were. You know what it felt like? You ever try to watch the, when you were a kid, <laughs> the clock hands move when you're waiting yeah. for school then and if you stare at it you don't see it move you don't see it move but if you look away for a while and they go oh, hey that's what this movie felt like to me i oh, didn't see it move <laughs> i felt like so i was watching to yourself if this were a thumbs up thumbs down i'm sure mine's up and steve's is down <laughs> that's yeah. a trip to siskel and ebert but it, it, i interested you to see it or see it again uh if you've seen it before, again yeah. Oh, I, I'm watching this again. <laughs> and I guarantee you, in six months to a year, you'll be like, huh, I'm going to check that one out again. <laughs> Bullshit! It is on the Criterion channel, and our friends in Unobstructed View have it on uh, Blu-ray as part of a fast spinner box set. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. If this is your first time here, or if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button, which you can find in my top right here. Click on our our icon that will give you instant subscription and we'll see you next time.